there once again, people. We've been having a lot of bad luck with mods today. For, I've had basically a mod crash on me. I've had a really overpowered mods. I've had mods that were a closed source. So really a lot of stuff that's just very uninteresting in the grand scheme and really totally worthless. I was hoping to like get something at least a bit more useful than what kind of we've been seeing lately. So hopefully this one will change things. So who knows? Who in God's name knows what I'm getting into. Um, this time around, check out quick new items. Whatever in God's name that means. Um, notice how these make a staircase to various files. Um, let's see here. Quick new items is a power-up manager allowing the use of an item at a time. Later than we actually need the item. This patch also allows you to store up to nine of the same item. More if you play around with the code for use later. In deathmatch, one of each type of unused power-up the player has is placed inside the backpack when he or she is killed. So it basically drops as like you can pick up one power-up and people can store them. Yeah, that's freaking overpowered! Yeah, it, I don't really think we need the ability to control when the power-ups are done, because that's pretty much, you know, really overpowered to begin with. Um, so yeah, needless to say, I'm not really happy with this one at all. Really freaking terrible mods. Again, well, well that stinks. I was hoping for something that, you know, wouldn't be this bloody overpowered, but apparently we're not getting that. Because life hates us and wants us to suffer miserably. Horribly. As in, oh my god, this is really a horrible, horrible idea. Like, why in God's name would anyone want this? But yeah, that, that's pretty much where we're getting here, right? Totally. Totally and amazingly, this is where we're getting. And for some reason, I seem to have forgotten to run the Quake C file, which is brilliant. My god, am I bad at remembering things? So yeah, I gotta remember to compile this thing out quickly. Just, you just get to see as I compile it out quickly. Isn't it fun? Yeah, <laughs> you can tell I'm really burned out from doing a bunch of files at once and really not finding anything worthwhile whatsoever at all. It, it really just feels a lot of worthlessness and this feels like it's going to be no bloody different. So, um, yeah, also the weapons being used, I, I remember that being somewhere else. I want to say, not the Fiend mod, no, but it was in one of those um, large compilation mods, I think, whereby you could do that. I want to say, like, oh god, which one was it? There, were, there was some really big mod with a bunch of different ones, maybe Project 1? I, I'm trying to remember. There was one whereby you could store different stuff, like store different, the quad damage store, like all these different things. I, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Like I, said, I remember it was one of the compilation things. They're all starting to blur together for me. You can tell that we've been doing too many mods when that's kind of the case. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot of different random mods and whatnot. Like I said, I think it's the one that had the Fiend mod or something like that. Maybe multi-mod then? But yeah, like I said, I'm trying to remember there was there was something that allowed the player to store um, a power-up and not use it all at once. I, I, I completely forget which mod it was that did it. But yeah, there was somewhere, sometime that allowed you to do something similar. My, my mind's very good at drawing a blank at this time due to all these bloody mods. You, you, like I said, too many, too many, and I, you know, it's probably the exact same idea as that one, but, um, yeah, brilliant, right? So anyway, like I said, you keep it until your player wants to use it, can hold up to nine power-ups at the same time. Um, at a time, you can choose to use a power-up to, uh, to basically activate the power-up you desire using the various impulse cheats or whatnot. Um, you may find it useful to bind a key to use the power-up. For instance, if you want to activate a pentagram, um, you basically hint it uh, using a certain key or whatnot used to specifically designate it for using one stored um, power-up. And that just crashed the game. Oh wait, I think actually I had the old progs and that's why, because the old progs crashed the bloody game. Never mind! Okay, let me move over the progs.dat so that way we're not crashing the game anymore because that was horrible. 
And I would like something that, you know, actually I can use because that would be nice. Yeah, I just want to get this one out of the way because I don't like this already. Do you know, quick new items. Re really terrible idea of store up a bunch of power-ups. The world is a horrible place and it's filled with things I don't want to use. E1M8, sure. Wait, why, why does Impulse E1M8? That won't help anyone. Here we are. So as you see, you picked it up, but you didn't use it. If you want to use it, you type in Impulse 101, or you'd have a key bound to it, and you use the pentagram. Now, can I turn it off using the same key? No, once it's activated, you always use it. So it is different from that one. It's not the same mod we saw last time. But like I said, you basically have it in your possession, and you decide when you want to use it. So, yeah, it's a bit too much control for my liking. I don't want to add more control for the player. It's the same idea why I didn't like the grenade timing idea and having like the ability to like time when you want to shoot your grenades. But um, yeah, like I said, you basically just pick up your power-ups. You know, you, you basically carry it with you. You decide when you want to use it. I want to use it right now because I want to get the pentagram. But say I don't want to use a pentagram. I just want to use a quad damage. I mean, yeah, I want to use the quad damage, not the pentagram. So now I'm using just the pentagram. I don't have a quad damage activated. But once I use the quad damage, I can turn it on using Impulse 101. Or Impulse 100, my mistake. I can't type today, can I? You see, there we are now. The quad damage is activated as well. Um... If I didn't have it, say I have like the Ring of Shadows, but I don't have any on hand, I can't use it. But the Ring, the Ring of Shadows would be Impulse 102 if I had one on hand. So if I go to like E1M3, that's a good one with a Ring of Shadows. Excuse me, I'm trying to be a hero. I just want to use this. Where, where is it? Red for your life! Bring your shadows! Impulse 103 it! And you use it! 103? Maybe it's 102. Yeah, it's 102. And if I go to like E1M1, E1M1 is probably the simplest, most direct I'm thinking of. I'm trying to think where exactly this like bio suit sound like the other ones. Yeah, I can't think of too many bio suits who like the other levels. Yeah, this isn't going to be good, is it? Uh, let's just no clip over there because I'm lazy. I'm lazy, I'm not really doing too well at the game right now. You can tell I'm burned down and really need to take a break from it for a bit. <laughs> That's the way you have to do in too many of these mods. Especially with they're useless. But yeah, Biosuit, Impulse 103, you use that. So you see, interestingly enough, they actually called it the Enviro Suit here when it's a Biosuit, but whatever. Viral suit, bio suit, whatever you have. And that's basically how you use the different stuff. Um, and that's really... That's really all you really got. Um, yeah. That, that's pretty much everything there. Now, if you want to use Impulse 9... Impulse 9 no longer works. It doesn't actually do anything. He rebinded it to Impulse 250 for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but he did it. That. Impulse 251 will give you a rune. And Impulse... Um, let's restart. And do Impulse 252, which will give you 9 of every item, apparently. 9 of all items. Impulse 252. Amazing! I got 9 of everything! I, I don't really know what you did, buddy. Yeah, this is... Pfft, Impulse 252 doesn't actually do anything, people. So, um... Yeah. Oh, wait. I think I know what he's saying. It gives you nine of every power-up. So that way you do, like, Impulse 252. Now you have all nine power-ups. And say I want to Impulse 100. Uh, there we are. There's a quad damage. <laughs> So basically, you can store up to nine of the same item. Um, yeah, so you can store up to, like, more with each item. So yeah, you can have nine quad damage on hand at any one time. Anyone think that it's a bit overpowered? 
And you can do like impulse 100, there we are. I just used two quad damages at once for some reason. Let's see if this is overpowered. Oh look, another quad damage. So if that wasn't enough, that was picking up. And yeah, that's pretty much how this works, people. Just pick up quad damage after quad damage. And now let's say I wanted um, Impulse 101. There we go, my pentagram up. Alright, there we are. Amazing, right? Impulse 103 and get bonuses so I can drop right here. Alright. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but that's really all this is. Just allows you the ability to control when you use your power-ups. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the idea, just because it feels like it's really overpowered to be able to run around with nine quad damages. I mean, I know you'd be able to get those quad damages legitimately, but the problem is, um, especially for the single-player game, it's really like, you were kind of like use it strategically based on where it's located. The whole idea is the fact of the matter that you have to like make it across a certain area and use it as well as you can. This makes it so you can like use it wherever you want. So you just take it to where the hardest area on the level is and you use it there. Um, it really kind of gets rid of that whole need for like conserving things and choosing when to use it and re really it just makes it a lot easier, which isn't my style at all. I don't want to make it easier for the player, I want to make it rougher for the player. And so something like this just feels like it's going in the wrong direction, as a lot of these have. Um, but at least this one isn't so overpowered as the other ones because it's not giving you um, the power-ups, it's just... Ooh, having a different management for using them. Um, so, needless to say, not a big fan of it, but at the same time, it, it is something that I guess does make sense if people wanted to use this, I guess. I, I'm just not a fan of it myself. And like I said, for co-op, I, I just feel it would be very, very overpowered. Especially since if you die, you end up getting one of the power-ups. That, that, that feels pretty bad, too. Anyway, thank you all for watching. It's been very, very pointless, and I guess I shall see you all, well, next time.